Walk around family. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2024 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport in crystal black pearl with black interior. Very popular trim level in the lineup because it is one up from the base model and two below than the fully loaded model. But it's kind of right there in that sweet spot. I have it running right now. It is pretty warm today. So I have the AC in there. Cool. So when we jump in, we're good to go. First thing you're gonna notice in the front fascia, those LED daytime running lights, all sports will have full LED headlights. So that's on every trim level, LX, Sport, EXL, and Sport Touring. If you want fog lights, you need to get a Sport Touring. It's not available, but the Sport does share the same bumper as the Sport Touring, so you have the same cutout down below. You have a uh, flat black on the lower portion of the grille, flat black on the middle portion of the grille, emblems in chrome, and you do get the two liter four cylinder engine in the sport. If you want the 1.5 turbo, you have to go up to the EXL or the sport touring. The sport is gonna black everything out. So you have the 18 inch gloss black rims. You have the gloss black mirror caps. Even around the windows is all black. The tires are 235, 40 tires or on 18 inch rims. So you have a more of a width on the sport versus the LX. And you have the newer mirror location that's a little bit lower on the door, give you better visibility. Wider windshield, updated Honda sensing camera, updated windshield wipers. This is the 11th generation, so they've completely redesigned everything in and out. Now, as far as the difference between 22 and 23 and 24 as part of styling, it's the same styling. This has been a very popular um, platform, so Honda didn't really need to change anything for 24, especially on the looks. Taking a look at the rear. So the rear end is different than the sedan because you don't have a traditional trunk you actually have a hatch, tail lights are different, and it is a combination. So you have LED on the outside, turn signals is a regular bulb, reverse lights is a regular bulb, and then you also have your third brake light uh, right there in the middle. So at nighttime, it looks cool when you hit the brakes because it almost looks like everything connects. You have a windshield wiper exposed in the rear, you have your nozzle back there, and you have your uh, shark fin antenna, which is body color. So crystal black pearl and the sport does kind of give you like this diffuser look in the back but you don't get a exposed exhaust tip like you do on the sedan so if you look down below single exit cars running right now so here's the key for the sport you have lock unlock um, unlock the trunk you do have remote start building on the fob and you have your panic button and a built-in key in the fob you also have smart entry so if you tap these lines right here it'll lock the car and then you put your hand in the back of the handle it'll unlock the car for you sport also does not have blind spot monitoring on the side mirrors you have to go up to an exl and up to get that guy and this is the black interior so we're going to start off with the door soft touch up top no it's hard touch up here you have just a regular flat black here soft touch on the armrest soft touch on the side you do have to hold down for the rear windows, but power up and down for the fronts, power locks, and power mirrors. You still have some additional storage in there, a little bottle a feature in there as well. And on the seating, just like the sedan, it's manual. So you have up and down, you have the, the forward and back for the back piece of your seat, and then you have the bar that you pull to move the seat forward and back. And we're gonna jump back in here and turn this guy on, because you guys probably see the sun is blazing. The sport seats is also a combination seat. So you have leather on the outside and then cloth on the inside. If you get the LX, it's full cloth. If you get the EXL, it's full leather. Same thing with the sport touring. But let's take a look on the left side of the steering wheel over here. So you do have a gloss black piece that goes across the whole dash. This is the new vent design that's in on the Civics. It actually started with the Civics, made its way to all of the other vehicles. And you do have your dimming interior switch there. You have a shortcut to your safety features and your um, traction control on and off, and then you have your pop your hood button right down there. You can adjust the steering wheel with the lever right here, and the steering wheel goes in and out, up and down. It is leather wrapped, so it feels good to the hand. If you get an LX, you won't get leather. You have to get this trim level and up. You have gloss black in the middle portion there, and you do have some shortcuts on the steering wheel. So on the left side, you have next track, previous volume. You have a source button, so you can switch from AM, FM, Bluetooth, all the good stuff. You have a voice command button where if you have Android, it's Google Assistant. If you have Apple, it's Siri. You have your home button for the display there and your scroll wheel. And speaking of display there, it is half digital and half analog. So the right side is a speedometer, normal needle. Left side is digital, 
right in the middle you have a digital speedometer as well so if you use a scroll wheel right there you can choose different options here and we'll briefly go through some of the goodies so you have you can have nothing you can have warnings you can have range and fuel you can have speed and time um are you awake to drive who got your seatbelts on oil life some of your safety features so you have your road departure on and off and your frontal collision mitigation on and off Oh, they need to go back in there twice. You have settings. And then settings is where you go to change some of your lock features. So, for example, tire pressure system calibration is here. You have your driver assist, so your safety features, meter, keyless access, lighting, door. And then door, you can change, like, auto door lock and unlock. And all your customizations and, and settings and customized display, you can decide what views on this guy right here. So you can hide apps if needed to. And right back to nothing. I'm going to leave a range of fuel because that's what everyone usually keep it on. And you do have your gas gauge right down below with your mileage and what mode are you in. On the left stalks for your headlights, so you have off, auto, parking light, and on, and you have auto high beams. And on the right side, you have your wipers, off, intermediate, and low high for the front wiper. And you twist this part right here for off, intermediate, and on for the rear wiper. Your cruise button there, you have your cancel, resume set. You have your adaptive cruise control, four different intervals, and your lane keep assist system here. The sport will give you power shifters on the back. That's something you don't get on the LX. And coming along to the middle portion here, same screen as the LX, 7-inch touchscreen display. You do have backup camera on there, and you have physical buttons. So you have Next Track, Previous, Phone, Radio, Bluetooth, USB, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wood Connect, and Menu, and your back key. You have a tuning knob, you have a volume knob, and like I said, it's touchscreen, and backup camera is standard. So you have wide angle, you have normal, and then you have looking straight down as well, too. So that's standard on all the Civics. Put that guy back into park. And then right down here to your climbing control. So single zone, just like the sport. If you go up to the EXL, then you can get dual zone. And you can put exactly what temperature you want. Fan speed, your different modes, and your air circulation, front defrost, rear defrost, AC on and off. Turn off the whole system you want to. I didn't even mean to turn that on. Turn the whole system on and off if you wanted to. And you have also have auto. Right below that, you have USB-A, power outlet right next to it, storage right there. And you have your shift knob, which is the same material as a steering wheel. Feels good to the hand. And for your transmission, you have park, reverse, and two drive. On the LX, you have, and EXL, you have um, sport and low mode for the transmission. But for the sport and sport touring, they give you a toggle switch where you can go from sport, normal, and econ. And then right down below that, you have your engine auto stop feature on and off, electronic parking brake, and brake hold, which will hold your brake while you're in drive. You can take your foot off the brakes. Cool feature. Cup holders there. And I always compliment this material that they use here. Armrest, soft. And then you have your your center console here. This is removable. You can put it back here if you wanted to. And there's no connections down there, just a rubber tray and storage. And you have your glove box here that's not lockable and decent size as well. Coming along to the rear view mirror, it's not auto dimming and there's no home link. You do have LED lighting throughout the whole cabin on the visor. You have your mirror here, and if you want lighting, I believe that starts in the EXO. Also, there's no moonroof. So LX and Sport has no moonroof, but EXO and Up will give you a moonroof. Let's jump out of here and jump into the rear seats. That's how wide the rear opens. We're going to jump in here. The rear seats follow the front seats with the leather on the outside and cloth in the inside. And on this, the rear doors, so you have tweeters on the door, speaker down below, you have a little storage right down here, and soft touch on the armrest, everything else is hard touch. And I like the, the door handle material that they use for the front and rear doors. You have no mat pocket behind the driver, and none behind the passenger, no USB A's or C's back here, and no air vents back here. And there is no foldable armrest or cup holder back here either. But you do have your LED lighting up here. And that's pretty much it back here. Let's jump into the trunk. All right. So wide opening there. A lot more room than sedan. And you have your cargo cover over here. And you can get that guy off. Have more space available. You have a cargo cover built in on the back glass as well. Seats do fold down and they split. So you can fold on that portion or just that portion. But you have to do it. From the shoulder there you just pull the push portion there and it'll drop the seats down actually I'll, I'll actually show it to you guys you can see so plenty of room that passenger seat is kind of back 
This one is equipped with the protection package, so it comes with wheel locks, splash guards, and this cargo tray. Carpet floor mats are standard on Civics. Yeah, front license plate as well. And for this cargo tray, you can buy dividers that'll help you kind of organize your, your trunk tray back here. And let me show you guys what's underneath. And you have your spare tire with your tools. It is a donut, pretty simple. The Sport Hatchback is one of the most important trim level in this lineup. So I know we got LX here, the Sport, the EXL, and the Sport Touring. But the Sport is the most popular because it's like in that sweet spot, you know. It's still under 30000 even though prices have been climbing up. And it's not too loaded. It's not too basic. It's like the perfect first-time buyer car or the perfect... I don't need a big car anymore car. You know, I just need a little A to B, good on gas, that's reliable, you know, it don't have too much features. It's just a nice package. I really like the Sport Hatchback. And we're gonna go over the trim walk, show you guys pretty much what the Sport have that the LX doesn't. The Sport will give you everything the LX has, plus these goodies right here. So manual transmission is available on the Sport. You can't get an LX, you can't get an EXL. You can't even get it in a sedan anymore unless it's an SI. So Sport or the Sport Touring, six speed manual transmission is available. Or the CVT with the power shifters. You don't get that in the LX. Remote engine star is another feature that just starts on the Sport and up. Um, can't get it in the LX. And it's only for the CVT model. So if you get a manual transmission, no remote start. The three mode drive system. So I told you about the Econ, Normal, and Sport. The little toggle you saw in the video. The 18 inch alloy wheels, because you get 17s on the LX. And the tires are 235, 4018s. On the LX, they are a more narrow tire. They're 215. You do get a taller tire wall, but you get an inch smaller rim. And you do have the Sport combination seats, which is the half leather, half cloth in the middle, the Sport pedals. Uh, did I mention that? In the, I think I didn't mention this in the video. I always forget these. Well, sport pedals, the gas pedal and the brake pedal, and you get a leather wrap, steering wheel, and shift knob. You get the polyurethane thing in the LX. You get a 180 watt um, audio system with eight speakers in the Sport, and in the the um, LX is actually a four speaker system, 160 watts. So better sound system. You get traffic jam assist. So it's pretty much like lane keep assist at lower speeds. And you get smart entry with walkway auto lock, which you can't get in the LX. And the gloss black power side mirrors. In my opinion, you're probably leaning more towards the sport because of the looks. And uh, the remote start, the smart entry is a big deal to some people. That could really be a deal breaker because LX does not have that. And it just makes everything convenient. They all have Apple CarPlay. They have all have Android Auto. You got to plug your phone in to use those, of course. But mostly, if you like the LX, you just want a little bit more, that's where the Sport comes into play. So let's go ahead and actually build one. And here's all four trim levels in the hatchbacks. And just like in my sedan video, this right here can get, uh, I'm about to say annoying. Not annoying, could get confusing because you have an EX in the sedan, but you have an EXL in the hatchback. You can't get an EX in the hatchback and you can't get an EXL in the sedan. So, you know, keep that in mind. So in the sport, we're gonna build this guy up. So here's your options. You have the manual transmission and the CVT. I will do a separate video on the manual transmission, 24 once I get one. But horsepower is 158 horsepower, 138 foot pound of torque. And it's from a two liter four cylinder engine. And you're gonna get about 29 city, 37 highway, which is still pretty good on gas. That's another reason why Civics is so popular. And this guy, that guy, look at the colors. So you have crystal black pearl. Why am I right clicking? You have lunar silver metallic. By the way, interior color is only black for the sport. So I'm not going to show you guys the interior color. You have rally red. And then once you jump into boost blue pearl, 455 more. Platinum white pearl, 455 more. And sonic gray pearl, 455 more. So keep that in mind. Um, we did the crystal black pearl. So you save some money there. And we look at the base price. You're looking at 26350 plus... Um, your destination handling is ten ninety five, so a thousand ninety five dollars. No premium color charge. MSRP currently, when I'm recording this video, is twenty seven four forty five. So I know the price has gone up since the twenty twos, especially since the ten gens in the sports. Well, they're still under thirty, but it's it's so interesting how close to thirty that they're actually getting. You also get a Honda Service Pass, which is a two year complimentary maintenance plan. You can use this at any Honda dealership. 
Not just the Honda dealership you bought your car from, and you get free oil changes, oil filter, tire rotation, multi-point inspection for two years and 24,000 miles. So let's jump back and look at the accessories. And uh, this, this generation of Civic, I noticed that you can't add too much electronics, you know? For example, let's go into interior. You can add things like all season floor mats and a cargo tray and updated high wall floor mats and door sill protection, um, things like this. But that's pretty much it. Like even go to electronics, that's it. Like there's no home link, no auto dimming rear view mirror. You know, you can't add any, you can't add a wireless phone charger. You can't add um, USBs in the rear. And if you look at the exterior, you know, you have things like body side molding and roof racks because you can add a, a crossbars from Honda. Well, I mean, um, yeah, crossbars from Honda and you, on the hatchback, but you can't do it on the sedan. But yeah, you can black out the emblems and, you know, make a lot of aesthetics, which a lot of electronics you cannot add, which is interesting. And let's actually jump into the wheels and you have the standard wheels here. I don't, I don't like these, these wheels, these, um, the optional wheels. Like, I just don't like the silver lip right here. And I just don't like this little design right there. It reminded me of the blades, the Integra blades, like from the nineties a little bit, but I'm just not a bad, big fan of the silver piece right there. But yeah, that's your two wheel option. I just will stick with the standard wheels, but let's kind of jump in. Here we go. Yeah. I was going to jump in the interior real fast. So you guys saw, um, I forgot to mention the headliner is black on the sport. I believe all the other trim levels besides, I think LX and EXL get a gray headliner. Sport and Sport Touring get a black headliner. But yeah, you can add the auto dimming, which is interesting. No wireless phone charger. And uh, they got the sport pedals that I forgot to mention. Combination of seats. And you know, there's not really much going on in the back. But like I said, like the sport is just more of a either it's your first car or it's your second car or you know you went through life and had minivans and suvs crvs and you want something small you want something to zip around but with plenty of cargo space good on gas that's premium for its size because this is the best driving civic in my opinion i think the 11 gen civic drives better than 10 gen the 9 gen 8 gen you know, this is just a very, especially the sport with the wider tires. It just feels a lot premium, but I will end everything here. Let me know if you have any questions on the, on the sport, you know, like, what do you think, you know, are you planning on buying one? Um, did you already bought one? Is there a reason why you don't want to buy it? Do you even like the hatchback? Do you prefer the sedan? I love to discuss, but, um, yeah, this is the sport 2024 hatchback. And the, the black on black looks really nice if you keep it clean. But I'm in everything here. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you in another walk around. Mm -hmm.